In this presentation, we're going to see how to copy to and from Excel for Microsoft Dynamics and AV. First, we do a copy to Excel, then a copy from Excel, and then we'll look at small design changes that we have sometimes to do to enable the copy from Excel. Let's start by going to a general journal, going to, to the top left, print and send. Microsoft Excel. Then automatically the lines are copied and you can see you can have a filter. Now everything has been sent, all the lines. It's possible to filter the screen and if you do it again a selection is sent to Excel. Another way is to select manually the lines, so you could have a multiple selection by pressing the control key. Copy rows, you go to Excel and you paste. Here you don't have the formatting though. Now let's have a look at the copy from Excel. We still be using the general journals. And it start, we're going to start with uh, the same copy to Excel. We can choose the columns to be displayed by adding or removing them. So let's send that to Excel as we did before. And we, let's say we want to have another entry at a different date for twice the same amount. So let's put another date. And let's double the amount. Okay. So now we're going to select the last four lines. Copy go back to the general journals, go to a new line and do a paste rows. So new lines have been created. What if we want to change some existing lines? Let's say for example we want to add a project code. Okay, so let's put Toyota on the first two lines and Mercedes on the third and fourth. We copy the four lines, go back to the general journals, we select the four first lines, paste rows, and now the lines have been updated. Okay, one last example we could do for all the existing lines, change something. So let's do it quickly. We select all the lines this time. We just want to change the description and we paste. Only the description has been changed. Okay, you can notice that the last two columns were not sent to Excel because actually they are not real fields. They are uh, dimensions and only the first two ones are global dimensions. So let's say we're interested in that functionality and would like to apply it to change customer. Um, by doing some changes in Excel. But if we go to the customer list and try to make any changes, it goes straight to the customer card. So we can't make any changes to the customer list. So we can't use Excel so far. So let's go to the development environment and 
the reason we can't do that is because the customer list the property if we go to the last line the blank line we can see it is not editable that's because of this functionality let's change that and we see that later on we may have to look at some other uh, properties so technically if we just if we change a customer list editable functionality now our list if we right click still don't have edit list but if you customize the ribbon and go and look the manage you can see the edit list so let's make it a uh, big one and now we can click on the icon edit list Oops. so now we can change that directly in that uh, page or what we want to do is to send that to Excel and do the changes in Excel so that's fine that will work however this is maybe a bit dangerous and we may want not to change that but instead to create just a particular page to do that and we might not want to allow to delete and to insert all the customer from Excel so we're going to put that back as it was changing the editable property and instead what we're going to do we're going to create a new page so maybe you you might want to ask your partner to do that however if you want to, to do it it's possible so you look at uh, an available page so in the 50,000 range usually and we're going to duplicate the customer list to a new ID change slightly the name so 50,001 was available going to change the name also in the caption okay and we change a few properties so editable is yes are we going to remove these so that it doesn't jump to the uh, item card and what we'll do we're going to uh, remove most of the field and only leave the one that you want to to allow some uh, changes in this list or in Excel so let's remove all the fields except the number the name payment code and credit limit okay we change the property so that the new fields are visible by default okay and one more thing we need to do is to add that new list to the menu so in the menu suite objects 1090 we go on the cells call our customer so with the number or the name put a caption it's a list okay and let's close by going at the bottom if you right click there you should see close so it needs to be really at the bottom close navigation pane okay that's done all we need is to close nav and to reopen it to get the changes Okay, again, it's something that you may prefer to ask your partner to do. Let's look at the result. Now, on the 
Excel, so we've got the customer list edit in Excel with just the few fields that we wanted. We send it to Excel and let's say that we want to to change everything that is that has one month eight days to thirty days with a replace all. We'll do that in Excel easily. Replace all. Okay. That's good. And now if we select all the lines. Copy and come back to the list. Select everything. So if we select all like that, we don't have the copy, the paste row, but if we select the lines, we have the paste rows. One more thing worth mentioning is this copy from Excel doesn't work if uh, there is some indentation like here in the chart of accounts so that's why we've duplicated the chart of accounts with no indentation and how to do that is just so we've created another uh, page and on the repeater this property indentation column name needs to be blanked Another possibility would be to use the rapid start services where you can find some export and import from Excel.